A must win for the home team Tampa Bay Buccaneers as they host the visiting Baltimore Ravens to kick off week eight. The Bucs find themselves below 500 after their shocking loss to the Panthers. The Ravens held off the potential Cleveland Browns comeback and look to be in a two-way race with the Bengals for the AFC North title. We believe the Bucs have an extra chip on their shoulder. We're picking them to win this game by four. The spread to take here is Buccaneers minus two. Heading into Sunday, the Denver Broncos face the Jacksonville Jaguars in London. There's a solid chance that Russell Wilson high knees his way into the starting lineup, but the way he's played so far, it may not make a difference. The Jaguars have paved the way for Travis Etienne, trading James Robinson to the Jets. It's a must win for both, but we're going with the Broncos by a field goal. Denver's defense has been the one bright spot this season. Our suggestion on the spread is Broncos plus two and a half. NFC South matchup between the Carolina Panthers and the Atlanta Falcons. You could argue that the Panthers looked better after trading Christian McCaffrey, with their offense moving downfield against a tough defense last week. The Falcons remain the closest competition to the Bucs for the NFC South lead. We're going with the Falcons to win by two. Both defenses play tough, but Atlanta's offense has proven to be more trustworthy than Carolina's. The spread to take here is Panthers plus four and a half. The Chicago Bears versus the Dallas Cowboys. Both teams didn't look like their usual selves, and I say that as a good thing for the Bears, as they beat the Patriots 33-14. The Cowboys won, but offensively struggled against the Lions, as they continued to get acclimated to Dak Prescott's return. We're taking the Cowboys to win by eight. The run game of the Bears is strong, but not strong enough against the Dallas defense. The Bears have looked somewhat decent, so our suggestion on the spread is Bears plus nine and a half. The Miami Dolphins versus the Detroit Lions. The Dolphins snapped their three-game losing streak with the return of Tua Tagovailoa. The Lions are recovering from several injuries as two of their offensive stars are set to return this Sunday, DeAndre Swift and Amonra St. Brown. Despite that, we're still picking the Dolphins to win by six. This has the makings of a big game by Raheem Mostert. The spreaded pick here is Dolphins minus three and a half. A potential shootout between the Arizona Cardinals and the Minnesota Vikings. Kyler Murray answered his call of duty and prevented a halftime deficit last week, the first time they've done that all season. The Vikings are coming off a bye and are currently regarded as one of the best teams in the NFC. We're going with the Vikings to win by four. The Cardinals are going to make it tough, but their secondary is no match for Justin Jefferson. Our suggestion on the spread is Vikings minus three and a half. The Las Vegas Raiders versus the New Orleans Saints. Dennis Allen made the executive decision to start Andy Dalton despite Jameis Winston being medically cleared. The Raiders continue to lean on Josh Jacobs, who's had three straight monster games. We're picking the Raiders to win this week by six. Marshawn Lattimore's absence has been a huge loss for the Saints. The spread to take here is the Raiders minus one and a half. The New England Patriots versus the New York Jets. The QB controversy for the time being has been put to rest. Mac Jones will be starting for the Patriots. The Jets recently lost Brees Hall for the season, but hoping they made up for it by trading for James Robinson. The magical run is going to be put on pause for just this week as we're taking the Patriots to win by five. The loss of Brees Hall will be a huge setback against a tough Patriots defense. Our suggestion on the spread is Patriots minus two and a half. The Battle of Pennsylvania. The Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Philadelphia Eagles. The Eagles are fresh off a bye and look to continue their undefeated season after trading for Robert Quinn. The Steelers continue to search for some sort of life on offense, regardless of who's playing at quarterback. We're picking the Eagles to win by 14. Following the trade for Quinn, the Eagles continue to get better. The spread to take here is Eagles minus 11. AFC South matchup between the Tennessee Titans and the Houston Texans. The Titans have a firm hold on the AFC South after sweeping the Colts this season. The Texans are just trying to get something going at this point, but look to be in a rebuilding process with them listening to trade offers for Brandon Cooks. We're going to roll with the Titans to win by 10. Derrick Henry in his last three games against the Texans has been unstoppable. Our suggestion on the spread is Titans minus two. Not quite the revenge game we were expecting. The Washington Commanders versus the Indianapolis Colts. Taylor Heineke filled in nicely for Carson Wentz, beating the Packers 23-21 last week. Sam Ellinger will make his first career start, following Matt Ryan's benching by the Colts. I'm going to lean towards the experience in this one, Commanders by 7. It's much safer to pick against the young quarterbacks making their first start. The spread of pick here is Commanders plus 3. The San Francisco 49ers versus the Los Angeles Rams. You could say this matchup dates back to last week, 
as these two were competing for Christian McCaffrey. The 49ers won that battle and plan to use him creatively this Sunday. The Rams are hoping this bye week was much needed to evaluate their dwindling offense. We picked the 49ers earlier this season, so we're going with the Rams by three this week. These teams are so neck and neck that it's tough to see the 49ers sweep the Rams. Our suggestion on the spread is Rams minus one and a half. The 6-1 New York Giants square off against the Seattle Seahawks. Coach of the Year favorite Brian Dable has established a solid run game and stout defense. The Seahawks lead the NFC West currently, but potentially will be without DK Metcalf this Sunday. Eventually, all good things must come to an end, as we've got the Seahawks winning this one by three. Don't count out Pete Carroll and the incredible job he's done this season. The spread to take here is Seahawks minus three. Sunday Night Football, the Green Bay Packers versus the Buffalo Bills. If you ask Aaron Rodgers, he's not concerned with the Packers' 3-4 and four record. But this week begins a stretch of difficult defenses that he has to face in the next few weeks. The Bills are coming off a bye week and look to continue their dominant season. We're picking the Bills to win by 9. It's hard to imagine the Packers falling to 3-5, and five, but the Bills are the superior team. Our suggestion on the spread is Packers plus 11.5. And finally, Monday Night Football, the Cincinnati Bengals versus the Cleveland Browns. Joe Burrow is playing at an elite level, throwing 15 touchdowns this season, and only has one interception since week one. The Browns are listening to offers for Kareem Hunt, as another loss this week could mean that they go into rebuilding mode. We're taking the Bengals to win by 10. This offense is playing at an elite level, especially the last two weeks. The spread to take here is Bengals minus three and a half. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and give me a follow on Twitter as well, at It's Hassan Khan. We'll love to chat with everyone during the games. Thank you guys so much for watching this video.